Mate, there's cat a cat in my house. <laughs> there's a cat in my house. Hello. How the f did you get in here? <laughs> Dude, I'm so scared of cats. Oh my god. I literally got so shit up. I was like, what is that noise in my bedroom? Oh. I don't know what to do. Come on. You, there's no way you got through that window. It's slightly ajar. Come on. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Come on, my darling. Oh, tell you, I don't know. Come on. Oh, you're probably more scared than I am. Come on. Come on. I need to go and get some ham or something. I'm also highly allergic to them. Look really bad, like my lungs close. Can cats eat ham? And oh. come in. Here. I have a massive phobia of cats, like really bad. So this is a big thing to me. Come on. I've just asked the neighbors and they don't have a cat. Come on then, you can trust me. Come on. Oh, I feel so bad for it. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Come on. Oh, good cat. Oh. I think that's his way of saying, can I trust you? Come on then. <sighs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> good boy. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Do you know what? That has changed what I think of cats. Like, that's the first time I've touched a cat for years. Like, I've got a massive phobia. But that cat was so lovely to me. Oh, maybe that's like cured me. Maybe that was a sign from the universe. I don't know. Oh, that was so sweet. That cat was so cute. You can just tell both of them were so scared and sometimes animals kind of redetect really your like feelings and your emotions. So when you're like your body language is scared and you're like a bit like that, like the cat is gonna feel like you're threatening or they're probably just as nervous as you. So when he's like trying to feed it ham and like trying to like cuddle it, that's just so sweet. Oh, I hope he gets a cat. But then again, he did say like the closest is long, so I can't hope he doesn't. Thank you so much for watching Possum Pets. It's goodbye from me and Flo. There you go. Good girl.